This is Garuda Linux Mocha Edition. It features a KDE desktop and a custom theme, and it doesn't have as many overwhelming or as much overwhelming color as the Dragonized Edition. So one thing, first thing I'll point out is the background blur. So if you move a window over here, you see the background is blurry. Click on the wallpaper. If you're not highlighting any specific window, nothing's in focus, the background comes into focus. Click on a window, it becomes blurry. That's one of their features that, uh, that that's like a major theme of this distro. So another thing is the wobbly windows here. So when I move this window around, it's pretty wobbly, right? So that, that's, that's a pretty neat effect that I remember from many years ago in Ubuntu. Um, that, that was one of the effects that they included. So, um, on the GNOME desktop. So now you have that on KDE and they have it enabled by default here on Garuda. So, uh, what, what else? Fish shell by default. So echo, so see, has that completion there. Um, has a whole lot more um, shell completion and nice features and stuff like that that you're not necessarily going to get with bash so anyways echo shell we have fish so fish by default they have this nice thing where it goes on to the the next line right here if you like that and you know you see the output of um i, I don't know if this is new fetch or Neo, Neo fetch or fast fetch. I, I'm not sure which, but, uh, it, it gives you a bunch of info about the system. Nicely formatted. This is, this is probably something custom to Garuda. I haven't checked into what that is, but it does that every time you open a new terminal by default, no matter which edition of Garuda you're using, right? So there you go. So next thing I want to show you, uh, app menu at the top. So right up here app menu, standard KDE app menu. You can search for whatever apps you're looking for. Uh, yeah, and it's just going to give you a bunch of stuff so you can filter by whatever you're searching for. Standard KDE stuff, they just put it at the top here instead of at the bottom. And it gives you a hot corner right here. So you can switch desktops. You can create another desktop, put other things on it, switch back to this desktop. Pr pr pretty nice standard stuff. Uh, what, what else? Each application. All right, so... Uh, this is the theme by default. The theme is, you know, less colorful than the Dragonized theme. Um, I guess they call the color theme is Mocha. Uh, window manager theme is Cat Pucin Mocha. I, I'm not sure how to say that, but that, that's what it is. So we have SDDM with Wayland, KWIN with Wayland. Um, that's our desktop environment, right? So let's take a quick look at some of the themes on here. Um, you can go to system settings, save the standard system settings, um, KDE system settings here. And if you want to go to global theme, yeah, you could select, uh, you can select light if you want, dark, standard KDE stuff, right? If you select dark, the buttons don't kind of look that great with this, uh, this curve thing here and switch back to Mocha. It matches a little bit better. Um, interesting themes. I mean, you can change every aspect of everything you could want to. It's KDE and you can kind of do all the normal stuff you would do with KDE. Uh, they come with all the other standard applications that Garuda comes with and KDE stuff. So KDE file manager, Dolphin, right? It comes with uh, system monitor down here by default. Um, everything is themed by default. It comes with their snapper tool. showing all the different snapshots that you could uh, roll back to if, if you have any issues. Comes with their Fire Dragon browser and terminals, just gonna be your standard console, KDE console, KDE system settings, and you have the OctoPie. So right here, OctoPie app store. So if you don't wanna use the command line to install applications, you can search and install them here. For example, you could search for GIMP like this and install the GIMP or whatever else you want to install. So the Mocha installer actually had one issue. I, I want to cut away to that and show you that right now. So you can see here, booting up with uh, Ventoy right here. And once you get to this Grub menu here, the custom Grub menu, it lets you boot with the open source drivers or the NVIDIA drivers. Apparently the NVIDIA drivers here had an issue with my NVIDIA card. Booting with the open source drivers uh, fixed the issue. 
And I think that was only really an issue with this edition of Garuda Linux. So you can see here, I have HTOP running in a terminal and I have a process, I have the system monitor running, looking at processes, not really seeing anything useful in that system monitor. But you see when I, see I try to close that window, it's really laggy. I try to move windows around, they move like a, you know, an inch at a time or whatever. And they're, they're really, it's slow to respond, hard to type things. It was actually hard for me to even run HTOP because it didn't want to accept uh, keystrokes. So I, I don't know how easy is it, it is to tell looking at this video versus what was on my screen. If you can really tell how laggy it is without, you know, being the one controlling the mouse and stuff, but it's pretty slow. You can see CPU usage is, it's, it's not all the cores. Well, actually you can see there in HTOP, all the cores are being used, not all the time. And they're not pegged to a hundred like they are with some workloads, but they're, they're pretty bad. You can see a bunch of uh, plasma shell processes, but it's that one process at the top there. Um, Kwin Wayland, and apparently this is an issue that comes up sometimes. But ultimately getting the correct NVIDIA driver on there is what uh, fixed this issue. Basically, uh, apparently this is the boot disk boots with the, I think the wrong NVIDIA driver. Once I've installed the system and I install the drivers, um, based on the, the thing that pops up at the end of installation, it installs the correct drivers, everything runs smoothly. So I can definitely run the proprietary NVIDIA drivers, just the ones that are picked by default with the, the boot disk aren't the correct ones. And the open source drivers, of course, just work by default. They're, they're not the ideal drivers, but they, they work with no issues by default. So, you know, it's the safe fallback choice. So now let's cut back to our already installed system. And so next thing I want to talk about, there are a few Garuda Linux specific tools. Uh, one of these tools is Garuda Rani. If I'm saying Rani or Rani, I'm not sure how you actually say that. I've only seen it written, but it allows you to do a lot of stuff. So let's take a quick look at that right now. So open this up. And here you go. See, it lets you do all sorts of things, system maintenance, system settings. You can change a lot of system settings, do a lot of like standard system maintenance, um, update the system, clean the cache, clear orphans, refresh mirrors, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, install packages, um, do a lot of support for gaming and other stuff, controller support, lots of stuff in here. So this is one of the Garuda specific things. So we, we actually look at each of the other Garuda Linux tools and utilities. We're going to look in more detail at Garuda Rani and all the other tools and utilities specifically included by Garuda Linux in more detail in our more general Garuda Linux video. So you should definitely check that video out. This video is specifically focusing just on this edition, just on the Mocha edition of Garuda Linux. So that's everything I wanted to cover for the Mocha edition. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, but also check out our other Garuda Linux videos. We're covering the other Garuda Linux editions, and we also have one big video on Garuda Linux in general. So you should definitely check that out for more details on the specific tools and an overview of all the editions and just what Garuda Linux is. Also, I have a playlist for Garuda Linux, but I, you should also just check the links in the description. I'm going to try to include a link to all the Garuda Linux videos and that main video in the description of this video. So yeah, ch check that out. Um, links in the description. But that's about it for today. Um, remember to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys on that next video.